It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Cowboys and the Giants under the lights on Sunday night. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener of the 2023 NFL season. As it will be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon of LCD. New season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday, looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champs. And here we are getting things going. Let's have some fun. What a matchup for our first Sunday nighter of the year. The Cowboys and Giants underway in week one. On the return, Jabril Peppers powering his way forward. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They will be led out by their dual threat quarterback, the veteran from Clemson. It's Deshaun Watson. And he's exactly the man you want in control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure's about to get to him. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Boy, I tell you, the schedule makers got it right here in week one. A lot of great games today. And another Buffalo and the Jets right here in this very stadium tomorrow night. Won't that be fun? But of these two teams, Charles, Giants and Cowboys, which one do you think is the bigger threat to Philadelphia in the NFC East? As we start here right now, it's got to be Dallas. How explosive are they offensively? Extremely. And on the defensive side of the ball, they take it away from teams. But don't count out the Giants. Their defense, they get after you with a lot of pressure. If their quarterback continues to grow, look out. Inside the 15 before they drop it. 36 yards on the play. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. The first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Here's Watson. in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. After the touchdown, it's gay to kick this one away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now we've got a giant player here, slow to get up after that last play. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. They'll start with the option. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Prescott being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's what 
and the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. There's Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They run for the first time with Javante Williams. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Throwing Prescott. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Prescott now. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. 23 yards on the play. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Prescott. A quick pass here, he's got Shepard. Touchdown! Sterling Shepard. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of cut my eye, Charles. What is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college? You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coaches to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something, when you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys, I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero, like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear? Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. That'll go as a pickup of eight. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Back to throw, Watson. But he hits his target, the tight end, Lewis. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Watson on third down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. 
Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and are controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that deep. And he's going to be taken down back he's around the 35-yard line. Give the sack to David Anyamata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Here's Watson. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Prescott to throw it. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Clock runs less than a minute to go in an entertaining first quarter of play. Prescott now on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now Prescott. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's certainly worth noting he's now one catch away from 600. He's at 599 in his career. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Start of the second quarter and it's the Cowboys in possession. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Time is crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That reception, his 600 NFL catch. Congratulations, quite the accomplishment. A first down throw for Prescott. Open man is Komet, the tight end. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Now second and five. Prescott yet again. Gets this one to Hill. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Looking to throw. Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence 
and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Javante Williams, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal, and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line, and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Watson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. From the 43, here's second down at five. A shotgun snap for Watson. They'll swing this out to four now. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Fournette a first down carry, but he'll get only a couple before defenders are there to meet him. This is second and eight. Watson now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Here's Watson. And yeah, that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they fell behind early, but since then, two touchdowns and a 14-7 lead. Yeah, they found the end zone on their first two drives, and even more so after the defense gave up the first lead. But these last two drives, obviously, they inspired their D because they shut them down the last time out. They hope to continue that string. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Got no problem on that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Prescott. And the giant rush gets hit as down he goes. Devondre Campbell flies in to blow that play up. 
But many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Jabril Peppers is deep for the Giants. That's taken at around the 40. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. And New York set to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Third and five. Now it's Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Giants first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Watson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Zone coverage there, they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On second down, it's Pollard. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. And he's caught. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Last play, they got stuck at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. To throw is Watson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Watson looks to throw again. Oh, the man is chosen. He's got him. Touchdown, Giants. Robbie chosen from 19 yards away. And the Giants are an extra point away from drawing level. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Prescott now. 
That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. Two yards on the pickup there. And now we've got a third and three. Final play of the half. Prescott. That's out to Hill. Right side complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. head off and check out a second game and you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter lastly let's check on one final game for you and you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter we thought this one would be a close battle coming in and we have not been disappointed they're all even to this point this has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Taking it about the one. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And a scratch out only about a yard after the 32. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. To throw is Prescott. This one swung out to Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. And they get Pro Bowl tackle Trent Williams for the infraction there. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the fall start. Here's Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So the drive takes him in the Giants' territory now. First and 10 at the 47. Prescott to throw it. To the right side, he's got Cooper. It's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and three at the 40-yard line. Now Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That's good for 28 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. Prescott yet again. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's Prescott. Fighting through pressure. And that is incomplete. 
But the pressure there on third down, forcing the error pass. Fourth down coming up. That's been a tough go for him. This guy's been driving down the field. But defensively, once he got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. The kick by Bass is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Back to throw, Watson. His throw incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner around. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here's Hill on the return. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now third down and seven. Throwing. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. We always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Steps away. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Play in his offense was staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt it for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on the keeper the moment it revealed itself. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. He'll take this to the 46. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the 
guy who made the play. We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he's going to pick another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 30. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. So first and 10 now from the 30. Watson now to throw. Catch is made by Metcalf. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards the final tally. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Here's Watson. Touchdown! Robbie Chosen. Already a second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Giants have retaken a third quarter lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get them about five yards. Second and five. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Prescott from the gun on third. And that is incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would like to give their defense a little bit more rest as they gave up the touchdown their last time out. Man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here comes Peppers. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it will be first to ten as they take over. And now out come the Giants. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Watson's throw caught here by Metcalf. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip tap, tip tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sit. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. To return, it's Peppers. 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. A quick throw, but incomplete. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed, not a good look. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. And out now come the Cowboys. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They start to drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Devon Ray Campbell. Here's second and ten. Scott. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Off the draw, here's Williams. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Returning is Peppers. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. On first and 10, Watson got his man complete over the middle. It's Lewis. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Watson, off play action. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. That's picked up by the Cowboys. Now inside the 25. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. To return, it's Peppers taking it about the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. 
to throw on second is Watson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Out of the gun, Watson. Forced out to it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. David Onyemata now with his second sack here on opening night. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Here's Watson. They'll swing this out to four down. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take a charge. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. A second down throw for Prescott. Completes it right side to Cooper. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now Prescott. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And it'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Arnold. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dan Arnold from six yards away. And the Cowboys are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And now we're going to get a stoppage. Remember the Cowboys shake it up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one. Because oh, looking for Ronald, but it's intercepted. P.J. Williams with a pick. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. 
It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day-three corners they end up winding up on special teams and sub-packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. And New York set to take the field. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. And now Watson throws another interception. P.J. Williams with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game. And now this time, an interception return for another score. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because... They got to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll come up second and seven. Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Watson looks to throw again. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. On the counter, here's Williams. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. After getting stepped on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't 
know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Dallas, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals. Brandon Gunn certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.